What's up guys, Recon here, and in this video I'm going over a huge update for 7 Days to Die. It's the Alpha 9.0 update. Now with it brings randomly generated worlds. This this is like, this revolutionizes the game. It, it's it, it's insane. Um, it's, it's now up to Minecraft. It's on the level of Minecraft where it's just unlimited uh, gameplay. I have not played it yet, but I have read through all the patch notes, and I'm going to quickly go over the stuff that I thought was pretty interesting. So first, <laughs> uh, they added a new game option called Random Gen, which creates a randomly generated world, world um, seed based on the name you gave the world. The random world generation includes all biomes, a full random sized central city, random in the wild cities, roads, rivers, lakes, and random roadside and wilderness locations. So you just, um, you just have to select the random gen as the game world and the name you give it will be the seed. <laughs> These are their words, not mine. Uh, added new sexier data driven M map that render is based on where the player has visited with Fog of War functionality. So this is really cool. If you haven't been to a place on the map, you can't see it on the mini-map. That's, that's awesome. The new map shows current position, cursor position, has a waypoint functionality, recenter view to player, so you don't have to search for where you are, that's nice. Uh, track friends on compass, mouse wheel scroll to zoom, finally, holy shit, I hated pressing the little plus button and minus button a bunch. Um, and left click drag to pan. So that's nice. Uh, they added many new locations never before seen that only appear in the randomly generated worlds, including city blocks, movie theaters, several apartment buildings, parking garages, parking lots, new destroyed buildings, and giant sewer holes. That's interesting. The parking garages and parking lots will be cool because I'm pretty sure cars give pretty good loot. Uh, they added simple drowning debuff system so yeah it detects when the player is underwater and displays the icon going above water removes the icon staying underwater for too long causes drowning pain damage and drowning death so that's that's nice uh, and they also added underwater visual effects sound effects and leaving water effects with refract and screen particle effects that's awesome so it looks different when you're underwater uh, this is kind of funny added eat glass for suicide option so yeah added city street painting lines painted lines i i thought this was this was awesome because the streets kind of looked like shit before alpha 9 uh but now they should actually look pretty nice with lines on the street it, it should look more realistic i hope i haven't played it yet so we'll, we'll see Hordes are smaller in general, but except every seventh day, they're super nasty. Um, so th this is this seems pretty cool. Thin the total amount of loot containers in all world prefabs and move the best prefabs to harder to reach areas. So it, it seems like it's going to be harder to get loot, but unless unless you really search for it. Uh, they changed zombies. So that they are no longer slowed by forge or campfire light at night and never run in dark places during the day. So basically this means <laughs> if it's daytime and you're inside a building, they're not going to be sprinting after you like they used to, which kind of freaked me out. But, I'll t but on the flip side, at night, you can't just light up the whole area and they become really slow. I think that's, I think that's what's going to happen. It, it didn't mention like torch lights or anything so maybe maybe you still will be able to put torches out and they'll be slow i don't know we'll see and last but not least um the grass is going to be a little greener <laughs> it, the plains terrain grass is a little greener i thought that was a positive note to end on the grass is going to be greener um so yeah guys that's basically these are all the um patch note updates that i thought were particularly interesting there are a lot more, and I, I, there is a link in the description um, if you want to see them all. But now, time to get to the actual game. So, here is me playing it for the first time. I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Now what? Ow, mother! Frame? Whoa. 
so I, ma I make wooden wood frames. Wood. That's how I make stuff, dude. Well, yeah, you make wooden. Like, do you want to use the the? I I just want to build blocks. You want to use the wood for crafting or building? Building, like a build. house. Okay, well, make a uh, wooden frame. Okay. How many does? Let's see. Oh, just one? I'm only gonna have twenty. Dang, we gotta get some wood. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna fill these bottles up. Cause the started from the, the bottom. Plan, yeah. <laughs> The plan is just to build on the side of the cliff and just wait out the night there.